Hello. Hello, Mr. Harry, Mr. Ryan. How are you today? Good. 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 Very good. Okay. So we almost weekend, yeah. Okay. So now, can I have this piece? <laughs> so today, uh, we talk about uh, many data structures. Long time ago, yeah. 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 They, what's data structures? Yeah. Like something like this. Uh, no. No. What are they used for? Notebooks. Yeah. Exactly. Data. Uh, any other data structures? Can you list a few of them? I uh, know when you stack, stack, key, yes, stack, you, yes, array, heap, yeah, also tree, yeah, link list, all right, yeah, yeah, these are all data structures. So, data structures are, are the kind of containers to hold data, right? Today, one is yeah, tree. So, so, today we're going to talk about this T R I E. Actually, it's pronounced as try, not tree. Try, okay, in computer, tree. try. Because look, why is it try? In English, it may be pronounced as tree, but in it has to be distinguished. In American, look, then how how do you pronounce this? Tree. Tree. And how do you pronounce this? Try. Try. Yes, you want to make a difference between these two, right? Yeah. That's in yeah. American. Yeah. Okay. So try. So how try. Just, how you just put accent on it? Try. Try as tree. as T R Y. Okay. Tree. Try. The same pronunciation of try. Okay. So what I try is basically a kind of tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a tree. Okay. So why not the tree? Uh, look, it's a tree, but it's uh uh not a binary tree. It is a prefix tree. Prefix tree. Prefix tree. Okay. Okay. So what it looks like, Eric? Can I have it? I can look. Tree. What is prefix tree? Eric. So for example. For example, like what? I have a list of now. Let's say a prefix tree: Eric and Ryan. Okay, and and mommy and daddy. Four. Okay, look, E R I C. These these four. four uh, I I you were given these four four string. Okay, a dictionary. Yeah, with these four string: yeah. Ryan, mommy, and. Daddy. Her name is Wayne. Yeah, I know Daddy. Yeah, so this is the this is the list of the dictionary, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. suppose we you are given another string, another list of string, and you want to check, you want to check, for example, like E R, uh, R Y, M, T U. D C. Okay, for example, any any Eric, listen, please. So any any strings and you want to find out find out how many of these are the prefix of these. For example, E R can be found at here. E R, right? So it's a prefix. So E R is a prefix, a prefix. Prefix of Eric. Okay? Right? Because E R E R I is also a prefix. Like rice. Rice. R I C E. No, uh, no, because look, it doesn't, right? But look, I can say R I C is a suffix. You know, the opposite is a suffix. Suffix of Eric because it, it's look, look, right? It's it starts from the end. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Can you listen, please? I'm going to test you later if you not listen. I am. Okay. So look, Eric. So you understand what's a, a prefix? Yeah. Okay, so these, you're given these, these, let, let's say four, and N dictionaries, okay? Is and e what? Is E, is E, C a prefix of Eric? No, no, no. So E is a prefix of Eric. E, R is a prefix of Eric. E, R, I is a prefix of Eric. E, R, I, C is a prefix of Eric. C is a suffix of Eric. I, C is a suffix of Eric. R I C is a surface of area. E R I C is a surface of area. Do you get it? Do you get it? Yeah. Look, I is the prefix of Ryan. R Y. R Y A. Yeah. R Y A N. And surface N. A N. Yeah. Yen. Ryan. Got it? You want to understand the prefix and surface? Yeah? yeah? Okay, so now, Eric, please stop drawing. Okay, so look, you're given this the candidate. <laughs> Candidate <laughs> string, okay? Candidate string. And your task is to, to find out how many of these are the prefix of 
are the prefix of, of, the, of these dictionaries. So, so how can we do this? Blue force, yeah? Yeah. Blue force, so how can we do this? So for each one... Dynamic programming. No, 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 we're not talking about dynamic programming today. Look, ER today... IB. Look, look, ER, we find, Wait. we go through. Look, if they are... If they are N strings in the first list, and if they are M string in the second list, okay? M. And if the first first string, the length is uh, the average length, I'm talking about the average length, okay? So if, uh, let's say, uh, T, and the second length will be U, then the average, okay? So now, for each one, you need to, you need to go through this list, right? NT, yeah? To find out if it's a prefix, alright? Yes? So the complexity is what? Look, they are M, right? M, yes? And you need to search for N times, right? Yes? Alright? Yeah. Times N and times. And then each one, you need, to you need to search what? For each one, you need to t test if if the if this is the prefix of that, right? So you need to test what? We, we how many times? If they are u u average, if they are the length of u, okay? Then you need to test times u. So this is the complexity, okay? Got it? Yeah. Yeah? Because there are m strings. And then for each one I need to test n strings. And for each one because I'm Is M or N or U a lot? Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. That's complexity, and the U is the size. Is the size of these. For example, they are all size two. For example, okay, size two. Okay, so look, this is one, two, three, four, five. Four times one, two, three, four. Four times what? Two. So look, how many times? Thirty-two times. Got it? Yeah. You need for computer. You need to compare thirty-two times. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Can we do better? That's the beauty of a try. So we can. We if, can build. We can build. If it has more letters than that. It's not. It's a look. We are we are checking the prefix. Okay. If prefix we are. and suffix. Yeah. If we, suffix is similar. If we are not checking prefix, if we are going to find out how many of these strings are in the in the in this dictionary, so can we do better? We can obviously do better because we can use a notebook. Right? We, we remember these words in the notebook, right? Yeah. Got it? And then we just need to go through this n times, right? And then look, because they are U characters. Are these supposed to be together? No, they are different, four words, four dictionaries. So I'm asking, how many of these characters, how many of these strings appear in here? So. It's not perfect now. Then we can recall the words in a notebook, right? And then we can just look it up. So, so the the timing would be this would be removed. So the timing would be mu because it needs the if there are u characters for each one, it needs the u times to calculate the key hash key and then looking for. So, so you know. When we were looking for the notebook, we need to hash it. We need to have a key, right? So this key function, key function of this string, like uh, a string, you know, and then this will give me a key. And then I, I go to this dictionary, go to the notebook to find out if there's a, if there's a, an entry can be, can be opened by this key, okay? So it's O and O one time. A one time lookup, but for to calculate the key, because there are u characters for each each string, then it, it needs the o u time to calculate the key. Okay, got it? That's why the complexity with the hash book. If you are looking for the words in the dictionary, is o m u. Okay, but now we are talking about different problem, which is the prefix. Prefix. If you are you going to list the brute force search, is o m times n times u. Right? All right. Okay. Let me repeat. For each, there are n string. You need to n string, right? And you need to look it for in the n string, right? For each one, you need to check u characters, right? You need to check u characters. For example, look, e r, right? And I need to check here. Okay, e r. Okay, then it's a prefix. Okay, right? Got it? If this is not Eric, then if this is m s, 
Okay, m not equal. Like next one, m not equal, m equal, but u is not equal, then I jump. So that's n times n times u. Got it? Yes? Yeah. So the tree, uh, the try, we're coming back to the concept, try. Why we need a try? Why we need a try? We build it. Look. So look here, this is an. Uh, yeah. Look, this. E -R -E -R -I -C. So we build a tree. Look. This is a root, okay? Empty. Okay? This is empty. Okay? And then I. E. So I have an E here. R. Ah. There's an R there. I. And a Y there. I there. C. E R I C. I build a tree. Okay? E R I C. Nothing. Starting point. Nothing. A root. We call it root, okay? And then R. R E R I C, okay? So, okay, and then now R. Why? So basically it's a tree. Like, this is a dictionary, right? If you hey. the I here, oh, look, right arrow. Okay, okay. Whoops. <laughs> May, maybe I have another one, say the red, uh, red, okay? Red, okay? Just to compare. Red. So what will happen? R. E. D. Okay? Okay, and D-A-D, look. D. A. Why are you attacking? Why does it make D. you attack? What's it doing? This is a tree. Remember the tree. It's not final the tree, remember. But it has many, many, many characters. It's a prefix right. tree. Got it? This is a root. Upside down. A tree. Okay? Prefix oh, tree. Yeah. Mommy. It could be uh, Okay, okay. Mommy. Ma. Oh, right. You. So you get the meaning, yeah? Um. M, Y, okay, mommy. I got the right. Another one, uh, let's say, uh, Ethan, okay, put the Ethan. E, I got E here, so. Egg. Okay, E egg. Egg, egg, E, e G, G, okay. So I let's know it. He... So basically, we use this tree, data structure, to, to recall the tree, right? So how does this help? I, let me build this, build, build it, and then I can look, I want to look for the prefix, E. I got E here. R, I got the R. Okay, so this is the prefix. Okay, so the lens is, remember the lens is U, okay? The lens is U, the height of the tree is U, right? Mm -hmm. And then R, Y, yes, M, S, it doesn't have S, okay? It doesn't have S, so S is none here, none. So this is not. T, it doesn't have T. D, D, C, doesn't have C. Okay? So what's the time C, complexity? How about C, R, Y? C, M times N this is, times U. Look, this is M, M characters, yeah? O, N. And then the, the, the length of the is o, N, U. So what's the time complexity? O, N, something. Uh, um, definitely O, N, something. O, N, what? The, 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 how many? So o, N, U. U, O, N, U, right? Yeah. Look, at least it's the same as the very uh, highly efficient. Is it time? Oh, no. Time. Remember, oh, we know no. the, the first approach, we look for the first one, yeah? Remember, it needs how many times? It needs mm. times another M here, right? Mm. Yeah? So we basically reducing the time complexity from LN times N times U to O and U. So which is better? Which is better? This one. The less the better, yeah? yeah? Because look, it needs this much of time. But now we're reducing it. We need the dot. Yeah, we need, we need just a new time. Because we, we can look it up in the try, prefix tree, right? Do you, do you see the beauty of it, right? Yeah? Yeah? Look, I want to check if MS is in the, in, in the, in the prefix of any of these words, right? Previously, I need to go through each word, right? Yeah? yeah. And this is M times. C yeah. Y. Yeah, now I don't because I have this try tree. Then I can look it up. Okay, if the root, next one, does it have a uh, M? Yes, it have M, then I go to the M. Does it have a S? No, I don't have S, so I return false. Got it? Yeah. Yeah? So, how, then now we can implement this. Define. Yeah. Define. Yeah, look, the surface. So how can we find this surface? Remember, Eric. 
if if we are looking for the if anyway, I I give you a question. This is to to build the prefix. And how about if we want to find the surface? Do we still can you can we still use this try? If we want to build the surface, okay. Uh, can we can we check? For example, if I want to check IC, I have an IC here. IC here. This is the surface. Can we? Can, how can how can we build this tri, uh, tree? Uh, try. How can we build this try so we can look it up like? You are, you just turn it upside down. Turn it upside. Quite close, not exactly. Not oh. upside. This is a try. You can't upside down it, but we can. Do you look upside down. No, no, no. What we can do is what we reverse this. Yeah. So we reverse this, then we put it there. That will be C I R E, right? And then we look it up. If if I C, <laughs> if I C is a suffix, then we just look it up. If C I, then look C I is here. So you see, do you get it? When we want to check the suffix, we reverse this word and then build a try in reverse order. So it will be C I R E. And then when we will want to check if there's a suffix I C. We reverse this, become C I. Then we can find C I. Okay, so there's a surface. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, so now this this is the so try is better to uh so actually it's called prefix tree, but you can also call it surfix tree. You know you can make surfix tree to become a prefix, okay? Yeah? Do you get it? Yeah? Sorry? This is, sorry? You need data children have something like first in first thing. First thing first out, Q. Yeah. But what's this try one? It's a, it's a tree. It's not it's a tree. It's it, you know the binary tree, yeah? This is tree is this is a prefix or suffix tree, but we call it try with with different notes, right? Now we look it up, it's used to look it up. Look it look it Look up a prefix or a word in a dictionary, but usually it's the prefix or suffix. Because if we are, we are simply, if we simply want to look look to find if a word exists in a dictionary, what kind of beta, better data structure can we use? The notebook. Notebook, exactly. Because the notebook is, we can just store the word in the notebook and we can look it up in constant time, right? Yes? Okay. So now, so the pref the try is better. It is very powerful if it comes to the prefix or suffix search. Yeah, the, like the star with you know the, the the Python. Look, if this E R I C. Yeah, if we want to search if E R I E R I C stars with E R I, then we can do this. E R I. E R I C. Okay, this is string, and we can use this dot star stars with. Okay. And then look, start with E R. Okay, this is return true. Okay, do you still get it? Yeah. And look, stars. Okay, this this return true. And then, and if E T, this will return what? E R I C start this star with E T. No. Then this will return false. Okay, okay, return false. Okay, now. Now we, we're implementing this try, okay? Look. Class. Class. T R I E. Class. Okay? This is a try, a node of try. Column, okay? And then now define underscore int. Underscore. And then self. Let, that's it. And then we can do this. Self. Column. Dot data. It's gonna be a lot of writing. Dictionary, okay? We because dictionary key value pair, okay? Key value pair. Remember key value pair, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we need a a uh, uh, boolean, boolean, true or false to to, to to say if it's a uh, ending, if it uh, if this is the note for a uh, word ending like e r i c, okay? E r i c. Then what's e r i c? Look e r i See, and here, this we need to set this to true because the word, a, a word ends here, right? Yeah. yeah, but here, no, here will be false because this is the intermediate. 
false, right? It's not a terminal, terminal node. Okay, false, false, true, right? Because the words end here, C, E R I C. Okay, so self dot leave. Let's say leave equals equals false. Okay, by default, it's it's not ending. Okay. Now, look at it. Yeah. We can insert. We need to try uh, define the word called insert. We insert the word in the try tree, right? Self word self and then word okay word current word column okay okay yeah. look current we are current equals self now we are at, at this node at the, at the first node remember Eric yeah. listen here no yeah and then now look for going through this Eric yeah for for example this is Eric right? what is Eric okay yeah I see for I in what? Then we need to find. We need to find if this if this character if this node has a character E as its kit, right? If it is, I, then I will jump to it. If not, I create the node and put it there. Alright? How do we create? That's a good question, very good question. Look, then look. If I in if I in current dot data yeah then if it's already E is already here okay if E is already here look Eric then I need to this is current I need to move the current to here right mm -hmm. yeah so that will be current equals current dot data bracket I right if not if not, then we need to do this. Current dot data i equals try. Create the node and put it here. And put it here, right? Look, yeah? And then I, I need to copy this line here, right? Current equals current dot data i. Okay, so actually you can, you can make this simple, Eric. Look, you can reverse the logic here. You can reverse this logic not. And then I need to remove this. And then I, I can I can I can move this a little bit here. Okay? So this belongs to that this then I if not in if not here, then I create the node. And I move it to this node. I create the node and move it to here. Right? And after that, the, the end is what? Current dot leaf. Because we are inserting the E R I C, right? And then current dot leaf equals what? Equals what? Current dot leaf equals, equals what? My phone. This is a true or false? True or false? Uh, leaf no. False. True. Come on. At the beginning is false. True? Yeah, we're well done. We're well done. Okay. So let's say, let's say insert. What's the time complexity of inserting a word? If oh. these are if, if there are n, n characters in the world. O N. O N, well, well done. What's the space complexity? O N. Well done. Good job. Yeah. So this yeah. is the insert, okay? Now let's implement the search. Okay. Search will be similar. Look, define search. Search. Self what? Okay, self what? We are searching the word, okay? Look, it's the same, look. C U R equals self, okay? Start with the current node. It's gonna be short. For I in what? If not, I in. If it doesn't find the node in the current dot triad, what happened? What should we return? False. Return false, yes? Yeah. Well, well done. Okay, and yeah. what should we do? What, what should we do? What should we do? We should jump to the next one, yeah? So current equals current dot data i, right? Alright? And then here, what should we return? Search. Return what? Return what? Current. Ooh. Current dot what? Dot. Dot what? Data. No, no, no. Self. Search. We are searching. So look, we want to search E-R-I-C, yeah? If, yeah, here at this point, I could be at E-R-I-C or E-R-I-C-K, for example. So what's the difference? If there's only word E-R-I-C-K, I don't want to return true because 
it's not an entire word, right? But ERIC is an incomplete word. So what's, what kind of data... Uh, what? Then we need to take away it. No, no, no. The leaf pulling tells if the word yeah. ends here, right? Yeah. So return current or what? Now we're searching the word Eric, and then now we are at here, current. Because there will be two possibilities. One is EIC, and one is EICK or EIC something something. You will reach at this point, right? So I want to return true only if uh, Eric is in the dictionary, not EICK, right? Yeah. So what makes the difference here? How can we check if it is? The node has a Boolean flag, leave. What does it mean? What does it mean? Remember, I, I show you ERIC. Remember? Yeah? Yeah. So here sets the foot to, to two. Otherwise here to false. Remember? Yeah. So return what? Current dot what? Current dot white. Come on, it's there. You pick a word here. Come on, what what's it? Left. Left? Leave. Leave, yes, leave. That's what I'm saying. At the, at the end, no, terminal, no, E-I-C. You insert the word, and at last, you, you set it to true, right? Yes? Yeah. Then you need to check if it ends here, so current or leave. Yeah, because if you're inserting E-I-C-K, right? Yeah. What happened? The C ends at false, and K ends at true, right? Do you get it? Yeah. Okay. The, okay, so now, we want, to, we want to change this to star with. Okay, only it starts with, it doesn't have to be the same as the same word. So you can only change one thing here to make it, make it start with, implement star with. Do you understand what? Yeah. So which, which line do you want to change? Eric? I don't know. Which one do you change? Stars with. So E-R-I-C, E-R-I-C-K, E-R-I-C-T, E-R-I-C, E-R-I-C. E also return true. So where should I change? Okay. Which, 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 which one should I change, remember? I will just return to, return current or leave. And the last one? Yeah, and what should I change it to? Uh, return one. Return true. Well done, return true, yes, because... Yeah. Yeah, return true, uh, Ryan, got it, you nailed it, yeah? yeah. Return true. Uh, yeah, because, because at this point, we could have possibility E-I-C, E-I-C-K, E-I-C-T, am I right? Yeah. yeah? Got it? Okay, so uh, any any questions so far? No, it's all saying okay? goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, okay, that's it. That's Goodbye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah.